<laughs> Are we on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, well, in this list that uh, we're both looking at, uh, yeah, there's that little phrase. Um, where is it? Finding how you. Oh, yeah, finding how you move through the world. Um, and I came across that phrase many, many years ago. And I think it's such a um, positive way of talking about how do you figure out how you keep going on this journey that we're all on um, so that you can have um, satisfaction and perhaps even happiness. Um, and keep yourself nourished uh, and I mean this part in fun way but part of not keep yourself hydrated just like with plants back I go to my plants um, and you have to figure out do I uh, slink along through life do I lurch along through life do I move in a completely unplanned way? Uh, do I attempt to do it in a control freak kind of way? And what you're noticing is I'm going for all of the bad ways to do it. But not necessarily bad, but risky. Those are all risky ways. Uh, and it usually, I think, has to do with not being uh, comfortable with yourself and not accepting who you are. And that actually takes time to figure that out. I, I think many, many people uh, don't get that figured out in the early part of their life. Um, so it's one of those things of uh, how do I keep going so that I'm uh, useful to others and uh, a decent person, and how do I make sure I can still make my legs go forward? Because if you don't figure that out, um, uh, the world isn't necessarily the most friendly place, and you'll get um, pounded around. Life spares no one. <laughs> well, no, like, <laughs> tough uh, lesson, but, I mean, yeah. And so if you don't figure that out, uh, and that involves being really honest with yourself. I mean, there's another way to figure out something. Was, oh, let me, I'll get away with that, I'll just fake that. Or, um, and in the long run, you'll pay in an awful way. Uh, so it's got to be something where you're, uh, good with looking in the mirror and seeing who's looking back and, um, and uh, coming with an attitude of, yeah, I, I can do that. And a uh, word that um, I know is on our little list here that's uh, just crucial in my life, it's um, a Latin word. Uh, and it's uh, spelt C O M A R I, conari, and um, it's the Latin word uh, for the verb to try. And if you uh, have lost the interest or the uh, ability or the drive to keep trying, um, you're in trouble. So this is recorded in... Uh, so what do you do then? Uh, you seek out people or hope they'll seek you out. I mean, again, that's not a nice little, you know, nice guaranteed answer. But uh, that's the risk that any of us take who have any kind of spirit. Is you have to risk now. You've got to remain available. So after all my blabbing on about 
you don't have to be available. But for that, I think you do. That's. Um, that's crucial for him, for me. So I'm speaking about me now, not anyone else. And I can tell you that in early in my life, a person I respected very much actually said about that word, oh, uh, I think that's so pathetic that you believe in that because it's just an excuse for failure. <laughs> no, seriously. And all I thought is, do you know what? Um, mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to be available for that kind of uh, so, twisted mm -hmm. interpretation. So, I think I'm lost. So if you lose the will to try and to keep trying, you're in big trouble. Yeah. Yep. I, I and then I asked you, then what then? And then you said, make yourself available to people that can recognize that yeah. and I guess it's and help. No, uh, yes oh heal yes okay okay and yeah. yes, now I understand okay. okay no and I probably just got going <laughs> why do you think sometimes that kind of healing we can't do for ourselves there's certain healing that we need from an outsider um, it never hurts I'm avoiding it. <laughs> direct no, it's true, but yeah. it never hurts to have someone else. There's the I think the occasional person who is so self aware in the good sense. Uh, and um, they're able to essentially regenerate themselves. But tons of us um, are helped by that uh, person who's not on the inside with you, who could be uh, helpful and who could help you gain some clarity and some strength. And it's well, and sometimes the um, help comes from unexpected places. I mean, there is the other thing to go way back and what we were talking about, about labeling. Oh, I would, uh, you can't help me. I know who you are, and you, you don't have the capacity to help me. Well, maybe you're back. Or some stranger, or someone yeah. that you don't know, yeah. comes up to you and goes, Oh, I always knew you were a genius. Which stuns you. <laughs> yeah. No, and you see that often is the case when, because that, as I think both you and I know, that does happen. Uh, and again, this may sound a little corny, but I think that's a voice from the universe. It happened to be an actual person, but it's uh, a message to you that uh, you're not alone. Uh, I see that you're struggling. I don't know if I could help, but I will if you are available. 